Welcome to the finale of Rags to Riches. Across this series, I've shown you how to go from level one up to where we are now with millions of dollars and nine businesses. So you may be thinking, what else is there left to do? Well, there's one thing. Today, I'll be showing you how to correctly buy one of the best vehicles in all of Grand Theft Auto Online, the Oppressor Mark II. Recently, Rockstar Games has increased the price of this one from three million all the way up to eight million dollars but there's a way to get it for $2 million cheaper. So I'm gonna show you how to do it today and then your character along with my character will have everything they need to make millions and millions of dollars for the rest of time. So let's jump straight in. Here we are on Warstock. The Oppressor Mark II is $8 million, but you can see the trade price is $6 million, but it's a little bit confusing on how to get it. As we can see here, we know we need to complete five client drops to get this discount, but how do we actually start those up? The game doesn't really explain it too well. Well, last episode, we bought the nightclub. That's step one. If you don't have a nightclub yet, watch this series. I explain how to get every business and which order to buy them in. And once you buy the nightclub, you have the ability to buy another vehicle called the Terabyte. You can see that one here in Warstock for 1.375 million. Now, not only is this gonna get us a discount on the Oppressor Mark II, but it's also a really good way to make money on its own. So this is a vehicle that you'll want to buy anyway, but buying it now gives us that $2 million discount on the Oppressor Mark II. So let's click here and buy this one. And then this one is actually gonna get delivered to the terabyte garage in our nightclub. There's a specific garage for this vehicle. If you don't want to go to your nightclub, you can also request it through your interaction menu by going to services, terabyte and request it terabyte. If you do that, it'll spawn nearby. All right, once we're inside, we have to watch this little cinematic here. Okay, now that we're back here, there's a few things. First is over here. There's a little vehicle workshop spot. This is actually the only location you can customize the Oppressor Mark II. And in order to get this, you'll actually need to buy it on the screen where you purchase the terabyte. It's a specific option that says vehicle workshop. So if you haven't already noticed, yeah, you will literally need this vehicle in order to customize the Oppressor Mark II. So you need to buy it. From here, we need to start up client jobs. To do that, we're going to head over to the touch screen in the middle here. And on the top left, that's where we can start our client jobs from. Now, unfortunately, we don't have access to most of these. If you want access to the rest of these missions, you're going to have to buy the drone station upgrade for your terabyte. In the long run, this might be worth it. The diamond shopping mission is very, very quick. Only about three minutes and it'll get you $30,000. But for now, we can just do the data sweep and the robbery and progress mission because they both pay the same amount of money and they're only gonna take us about three to five minutes. So let's start up this robbery in progress. So these robbery in progresses are pretty simple. We just have to scroll through the cameras and see which bank on the map is actually getting robbed. Okay, it's the one at Route 68 out in Sandy Shores. Can do. Let's have a look at the interior camera. All right, there's the robber. Okay, we're going to head out there. I'm going to call in my sparrow and we'll head out there now. All right, we're launching these rockets in. There's also going to be a juggernaut on the inside. We'll see if we can take him out with, with the sparrow. We'll have to get low to the ground. Nope, the game wants to lock on to the, to the cops. And now, now it doesn't want to lock on to anyone. Okay, there's another cop down. Steady, steady. Okay, no, nah, it just doesn't want to lock on. He must be behind the wall. That's all right, let's run in. Oh, he's destroying the cops. Nades, that's going to be our best option. Cops, stop shooting me, come on. I'm trying to kill this guy. Alright, he's down, surely. Alright, in we go. There's gonna be a guy in the vault as well. Yeah, you kinda need to pre-fire that guy because uh, he has a shotgun and he will just destroy you. For some reason, that wall's bulletproof. Actually, you know, it makes sense. It's a bank, right? I almost died there, dude. Sorry, buddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you there. Oh, I almost just got cleaned up by a car. This has actually been quite an eventful, simple mission. 
Alright, but we should be able to call Lester, lose these cops, and then we just need to head to the destination. And that's it. That's a robbery in progress. They're very, very simple. Why, hello. How you doing? Yeah, remove one from the Easy. No problem. I'll get them off your back. Alright, see you at the destination. And there we go. $31,000. So we do that four more times. Well, we'll do a data sweep now, and then we'll we'll switch back and do robbery in progress. We're going to have a bit of a cooldown, though, so that, that kind of sucks. Now, with these data sweep ones, we need to go around and scan or hack these target vehicles. Hopefully, this is the one here. I just scanned another one, and that, that wasn't it, unfortunately. Okay, that's the one. Good. Let's hop out here, take these guys out. This one, again, a very, very simple mission. Jump down here. Ow. Oh, okay. So pretty simple, just steal the vehicle, drive it to the location, and we're gonna get our 31k. We'll do another robbery in progress here as well. This one, this one's at the Pacific Standard Bank. So this is the big bank at the top of the city. Same exact thing, there's gonna be a juggernaut out front, I just took him out. Now I've got the two guys inside, got the bag. There's probably going to be a lot of cops out here though, so this will be interesting. Alright, see you guys. I'm, I'm out of here. Lester, help me, brother. There's too many of them, Lester. Alright, we're good. And then this should be... Our last one. I'll need to hit another Kaya Barrigo heist to get that six million dollars. And then we're good to go. Let me just yoink these bearer bonds real quick. Thank you, Mr. Rubio. And here we are, the Oppressor Mark II. And like I said at the start of the video, we are going to want to buy this specialized vehicle workshop. Not only will it store the Oppressor Mark II, but it will let you customize it and put missiles on it, which I'm sure pretty much all of us are going to want. So we'll buy this Oppressor Mark II. Boom. All right, it's going to arrive in our terabyte in a second. So let's call it in, head over there and wait for it. Oh, it's already been delivered now. Easy. Let's, let's just go in here, request it from our terabyte. And it should spawn nearby. There it is. And there we go. We have the $8 million, now $6 million superbike. Going to need to put the missiles on it. But what you can actually do is fly it down here into your terabyte, just like that. So you go to the back right of the terabyte and it just stores it inside. It's pretty neat. So if you want to put missiles on it, which I would probably recommend doing, it's going to be $180,000. I don't have the money for that right now. Lamau, oh well. And there you go. You've got the bike. We have, what is it, nine businesses now, I believe. This series has been a massive success. I hope it helped you out. At this point, you should have everything you could possibly ever want to make money in GTA Online. If you do want to go down the route of getting additional businesses, you know, buying every single property in the game, absolutely go do it. Just run your Kaya Pericos, your agencies, and go ahead and buy things like the auto shop. It's a great business. Crate warehouse, maybe vehicle warehouse, penthouse, whatnot. Lots of more things you can buy. But if we're talking about strictly the best ways to make money at this point in the series, you've got all of them. So again, if you enjoyed, if it helped, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more stuff like this, and I'll see you in the next video. Poise!